So this might be my most requested video for this specific product. Uh, today I'm gonna do an install video for the NTX Glow Wicker Bill so that uh, people know how I install it and hopefully it'll help the install process be a little bit easier for some people. So the easiest way to install the Wicker Bill is to install it on the car itself, but there is a small problem with that because it is cold and really wet outside and the current NTX Glow garage is a mess and can't hold any cars. But NTX Glow has another garage, so we're about to go there right now. So my wife Sally and I, we moved back from Houston back to Dallas uh, somewhat recently, and we've been living at her parents' house, at my in-law's house, for the past two, maybe three months, and we just bought a house. That's why the garage that you keep seeing me shoot in has been so messy is because I'm literally sharing it with uh, my in-laws. I wanted to pull the car in because it is cold and wet and that's awful to work in. It's kind of really disgusting outside. So uh, we're headed to my new house with my new garage so we can work on the car and do a proper DIY video of the wicker build. So this is the new NCX Glow garage. Uh, you're sitting on the car right now and uh, yeah, this is where I'm gonna do the install at and eventually move in and do all the rest of the videos in here. Most important thing when installing this NTX Glow Wicker Bill is making sure that you have the right lip for this to go on. I designed this to only work with the OEM lip, a uh, lip that bolts through the trunk, and that's why I picked that one because I wanted this to actually bolt through the trunk so it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna break off or fly off at high speeds or anything like that. For people to think that this works with the, I think it's called the BBM lip. You can get it from eBay. That lip only sticks on with double-sided tape. It's a little bit bigger, so it is not actually designed to work with the wicker bill. So this is the important part, these bolts right here. This goes through the actual trunk of the car. So you have to make sure that you get this one and not this one. So I'm using my car to actually install this so I can ship it out to the customer. But I obviously already have a wicker bill on. I gotta take that off real quick. So with the OEM lip off, you can see where these are supposed to bolt to. So obviously one right here, one right here, and there's actually one here and one here. There's four in all. Uh, mine actually broke, so I only have two in the middle, which is not recommended at all. It might fall off, it could fall off, and it could definitely leak water into my trunk. But if you're ordering the OEM lip, you will have to drill all four of those holes in order to mount to this whole setup. Okay, so I'm gonna put the new lip on. I'm actually gonna bolt the OEM lip to the trunk before I start messing with the wicker bill. Now that the OEM lip is on, we can start to figure out where we're gonna actually put the wicker bill. The way I go about it is I line everything up off of this center hole right here. There are seven holes, three on each side, one in the middle. If you can line up this center hole, the rest of it should be pretty easy. Okay, the way I center it up is by going off of the defrost line. This line right here is the dead center of the glass, which means it's also dead center of the trunk. So if you can line it up with this center defrost line, then you will have a centered wing. And there's two ways you can do that. One, you can use some tape, which we're gonna use tape anyway, so if you only have tape, that's okay. And you can also use a straight edge. I personally like the straight edge, it just makes extra sure that where you're setting your mark is exactly center. One of the first things I like to do is go ahead and tape off the entire back of the OEM lip where you're gonna be drilling all the holes. You don't wanna scratch the paint or chip the paint right there. So it's a good idea to go ahead and cover it in tape. So this is how you can do it if you only have tape. As you can see, I put the defrost line on one side of the tape line. Just hold it really straight and that side right there should be perfectly centered. This is the other way you can do it with a straight edge. You just line it up next to the defrost line and as long as you have pressure on it, down here is where it should be centered. So the tape is actually centered up 
that's our center line. So now that we have the center line going side to side, we need the center line going up and down. I do this all on feel. I don't have a very specific way of how I do this, but basically I hold this up to where my center line is and then I line it up with the very bottom of the lip. You don't want it touching the trunk. If the bottom of this is touching the trunk, it can damage your paint. So it's pretty important that you don't let it touch the bottom of your trunk. The good news is that I designed it so that if this part isn't touching the trunk, the rest of the lip will not be touching it. So all you have to do is get this part lined up and the rest of it won't touch the trunk. So I'm gonna do it right now. Well, all I'm doing is setting this up onto the trunk right at my center line. I'm gonna feel on the bottom, line it up with my fingers, and then make a mark with a Sharpie. And that's where we're gonna drill the first hole. As you can see, it is right on the center line, but it is not exactly centered in between here and here. So that's why it's really important to use the actual wicker bill to line everything up so that it sits flush along the bottom of the lip, but doesn't touch the trunk itself. I was getting ready to film the next part and realized I left the rib nuts and bolts back at the other house. So we're gonna go get those. Got him. Okay, so now I'm gonna start drilling the hole and then I'll use the Christmas tree bit, make the hole bigger, size of the rib nut, and then we can do a mock-up. Okay, since I already drove all the way over here, I uh, I didn't explain this in the video. I realized that I left several tools and uh, more of the rib nuts back at the other house that I was working at, so I had to drive all the way back. So I went back and forth that day like three or four times. Here, I'm just gonna finish the install right here. Going over to the house was like a complete bust. So here we go. Okay, use your small drill bit to make a pilot hole. And then you're gonna use a Christmas tree bit to make the hole as big as the rib nut. Obviously you're gonna to wanna to test fit your rib nuts. All right, now that I have that center hole drilled, got my rib nut tool and a rib nut, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. Okay, with that first rib nut on, we can go ahead and mock up the wicker bill just putting in this one and making sure that everything fits side to side. Okay, so what I'm checking for is to make sure that the wicker bill is lining up on the bottom of the lip. See, you can see the lip, which is blue. It's actually resting right at the bottom of it and is not touching the trunk. It is a really tight fit, so you wanna make sure you get this part right. But once this part is right, the rest of the trunk will actually line up so now that the wicker bill is mocked up on there, what I do next is I actually hold it against the lip of the car and I start making marks with my Sharpie. If you're nervous about getting it to fit exactly right, you can do one hole at a time. Make sure you line it up side to side, mark one hole, and then you can take the wicker bill off, put a rib nut in, put the bolt in, and just keep doing that for each individual hole to make sure that it lines up well. You just saw me do two holes. So now I'm gonna put the rib nuts in those holes and then throw the wicker bill back on and make sure that all the other holes are gonna line up. Okay, so now I've got three bolts in and I've got a few more holes to drill. But now that I have these three in and the wicker bill is on and flat with the lip, it will be easier to mark these holes. So all I'm gonna do now is mark these four holes with a Sharpie, making sure that I push the wicker barrel all the way against the lip so that it has a good mark. And then I'm gonna drill the holes, put the rib nuts in, and put the bolts in. Now that I've got all the rib nuts in, I'm going to remove the tape and then install the wicker bill, and it should be good to go. I wanted to show you this before I put the wicker bill on. You can see that it actually bends the lip in a little bit. That's completely normal. It has done it on every single one that I've installed. And it actually allows the wicker bill to sit a lot more flush on the lip. If 
you, if this was sitting out a little bit, then the lip would actually sit out as much as the head of the rib nut. So a little bit of bending in the lip is no big deal. And that's how you install the NTX Glow Wicker Bill. The only last thing that you can do is this gray actually peels off. So you just start at the corner here and peel it off. But this is getting shipped out to a customer. So I'm not gonna peel that. If this process looked too scary or if you just really don't wanna do it, we offer pre-installation. That's what this is right here. So whenever you get this, you'll get the lip and the wicker built installed together already. If you have any other questions while you're installing, go ahead and email us, put the email down below, and I'll go ahead and put uh, affiliate links to my Amazon account below as well.